How are we on? Hey, this is live from SGI 08. My name is Scott Fresner with US Screen Print and Inkjet Technology. And I'm hearing a buzz on the audio. What do you think, huh? Is that me? No, you don't hear it out there. I'm with my good friend, Marsha Derryberry. Hello. And that really is her last name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get like tease about that when you were? Constantly. Was it really? Yeah. And, and when I named my kids, it was very difficult. You got to stay away from your Harrys, your Larrys, your McCarries, and <laughs> yeah. So I had to go with the A and Larry Derry Barry and Larry Derry. Yeah, Barry. they'll never forgive us for that. <laughs> you didn't think about giving them a different last name then? Or? No, 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 it didn't, no. didn't happen. Marsha is talking. the uh, I'm going to guess now the uh, senior uh, uh, old time uh, been there forever editor of impressions. What's your actual title? Do uh, editor in chief. But do and what does that mean now? Then you have a final say. Yeah. That's yeah, it. so we've got a great team of editors that help uh, create all the stories and the story formats and right. do the editing, but I'm the lead person over on it. You, do you read everything that goes in? Yes. Way yeah. before it goes? Yes. You don't yes. go later and well, go, oh, holy crap, what were we thinking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but again, the great team of editors. So oh, right. They're the behind right. the scenes making me look You have nothing good. to do with layout, though. Like, if I get an impression that's laid out real nice, that's... Uh, we have a great art director named Maria Klo Kozlova that handles that. And does so. he bring it to you and say, what do you think? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I do have final say, but usually I just let her be the artist because I don't have an artist style. Ah. So she does the creative. Now, but you have a huge budget for writers. <laughs> <laughs> we work with contributing writers. <laughs> oh, you do? <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, no I, I, I should say, I've written for Impressions on and off for years, but, yep. you know, but it was always a get your name out, but you don't make a ton of money on it, you know. Yeah, when it, was, it was a good thing to help grow a lot of people like you in the back in the day, Charlie Tobley, a lot of the consultants, and now we have a new roster of younger people coming up. Cause a what lot are you saying? Huh? You have a new I roster of pardon. younger people coming up. Well, you and I are a little old and, you know, a little long in the tooth. <laughs> oh, man. Now I was going to tell you. Well, we have Photoshop. See, oh, we, can, right. we can take care of this stuff in Photoshop. Will you be doing that later? Y'all <laughs> 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 can do that. You look marvelous, by oh, the way. Thank you. No. Well, I was going to tell you, October 3rd was my 20th anniversary with Impressions. It's been that long. It's no. amazing. 20 years. Now, you were hired oh, by, because some of the people that are watching this probably don't care, you were hired by uh, Marshall Siegel? Or, uh, no, Marshall had just left. Carl Piazza was my mentoring first editor. That was Grala? That was Grala Publications. Then it went from Grala to Miller Freeman. Miller Freeman. VNU. VNU. Now we're Nielsen. Now Business Nielsen, yeah. yeah. Are you for sale again? No, no, not yet. No, Thank God. No, 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 we're good. Now, we're in good. the grand scheme of Nielsen, which is the. Uh, Ratings, ratings people, right? And they do what? Billboard? Yeah, we have a whole market research division and Nielsen TV ratings, but then the business media part is trade shows and magazines, and some of the magazines people may be familiar with are uh, Ad Week, Brand Week, Hollywood okay. Reporter, Billboard, some of those. Where do you fit in with that whole hierarchy? Uh, well, we're just another one of the business-to-business -business brands. We're kind of that quiet little t-shirt magazine yeah. that is a huge yeah. business. As they leave you know. alone? Well, yeah. If they <laughs> give them your budget and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now before Marsha became editor of Impressions... High school cheerleader? Uh, no. Class clown? Uh, no. Believe it or not, I was really shy, which is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. Uh, who knows? I know. I think this is all of our, our alter egos. Yeah. I think a lot of us are shy inside, but we kind of pump it up and, you know, we yeah. do it. Yeah. So you are a little bit of the limelight. So you have a degree? In journalism from yeah, Southwest. That's like mandatory to be a magazine editor? Uh, Probably helpful. Pretty much, yeah. Everybody yeah. we interview. Most of my editors now came from Georgia. Terry Murphy came from Syracuse. Right. I hope. Terry, if you're watching, I hope I didn't mess that up. Now, you, you lived in Dallas then. <laughs> lived in Dallas. Was an editor for 14 years in the Dallas office. Hang on. We, we do have an audio issue. We have to y yell at the sound guy. Is it me? I don't have a thing. I don't know. I can't tell. This is live. Who knows? Is this what they go through at the Today Show on I a live so. I think so. Yeah. Like yeah. Okay. Really? Really? Okay, so you weren't the high school cheerleader. You were the uh, shy person in the back of the room. Shy person got the journalism degree because I could not do math, and my accounting class was a night class. I had to walk past a bar to get there, so stopped going to that. So I thought, well, English it, is easy. It worked out well. Worked out well. And I uh, graduated at 22 years old with a journalism degree with a magazine concentration, and Impressions happened to be the first job I got. So, really? So That's all you've ever first. had? That's all I've ever had. That's all <laughs> I know. You never worked at, like, Burger King? I worked at the grocery store bakery in high school. That was it. <laughs> Did you really? That was it. And you know, as you know, it's like I'm a journalist first, but once this industry gets in your blood. Yeah, you can't leave. Oh, you know, I love it. Yeah. I have a huge passion for it. So. Like, what would you do right now, other than retire? Well, you have a cabin up Become in the mountains somewhere. Of you have course. a cabin. In the, don't you have a cabin? <laughs> yeah, we live in a log cabin in the mountains north of Atlanta, so I kind of do is my gypsy real, thing. Is it a real log cabin? It's a real log cabin. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I do my gypsy thing on the weekends and the corporate thing during the week. You dress down? Oh, yeah. Well, you know me, the Stevie Nicks thing. <laughs> little yeah. sweatband and, uh, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> no. <laughs> beads. <laughs> yeah, no makeup. I look no awful. makeup. Oh, look awful, I'm going to come it's visit. It's the price of peace, my friend. But running water. Running water, but we're on our own well. You okay. don't have trash service. You have to go to the dump once a week. Oh, I hate that. Isn't that, that fascinating? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Press. So. so. Nielsen owns you. Nielsen owns us. Nielsen kind of says every now and then we're going to cut staff and maybe cut staff and cut staff. and So you're kind of, you went from a large staff. We were large staff. To now what? We have five editors and an art director. That's more than I thought, yeah, actually. Yeah. There's been a lot of market consolidation. Also, um, we folded EMB Magazine yeah. two years ago. We folded yeah. that embroidery content into Impressions to get Impressions back to being more of an all-inclusive, comprehensive industry magazine. Right. So that, you know, that took some scaling back. But like every large corporation, it's about streamlining and yeah. and people move on. So. Are you doing online? Mm -hmm. I get we your thing. We do a lot is it, of is it, is it weekly? We have, um, we actually have seven or eight different digital I keep units. getting these emails saying some impressions. Yeah, yes. I mean, <laughs> what, we then do. I get the magazine and some of the stuff's the same, so I'm guessing you're, you're piggybacking a little bit or? We do the print magazine, which then also is digitized through Texterity on the website, so we have a larger reach. That can reach as many as 60,000 people right now online. Okay, right. So they can actually read impressions page by page. All the ads are there with hot links directly to our advertisers, which okay. is interesting. We also do a newsletter every other week, which is breaking news. And the weeks that we don't do that, we do something called the Impressions Product Guide, which is a place where, you know, for space reasons, we had to move a lot of the product out of the print, and it's into that. And that goes directly then feeds. If you're interested in a product, you just click on it and go straight to that That's website. why I get them every week. And I yeah. go, I don't understand this. Every week I get something from Impressions. There's I have that. a new folder for you in my email. Yeah. Impressions, Impressions, Impressions. <laughs> oh, it's Someday like, I'll read these. It's like my U.S. Green Forum things that come every, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah you every night. Them away. We, we now, you're active on the forums? I am there all the time, forum members. You don't no, know you, I'm there. You, I read it constantly. Are you a voyeur? I'm a voyeur. Every now and then I get all, I'll hop on, but that is a great place to find out what you guys are doing out there, the decorators, yeah. finding neat ideas, real innovative people, and that's where we've gotten relationships with some young, up-and-coming people who, because yeah. for impressions, you know, it's not, most of it is not written by us, the editors. A lot of the feature trends type stuff is, but when it comes to how-tos, we use your expertise because we're not screen mm. printers. So, so do you email them direct? You go to the forum and you're a voyeur, so you read them and you email these guys yeah. direct and ask them for ideas yeah. and contributions and things. Yeah, and that's where we find neat. There's different places in the magazine. The front of the magazine has FYI, so interesting people doing neat fundraisers or that kind of thing or a really neat project. We're happy to give them editorial coverage there. The back page is called On Design, which really breaks down a really unique design and tells people how they did it and it's a full page which yeah. is a great great real estate to have we always use decorators through that so that there there's those opportunities well it looks it. great I, yeah. you, you call it a book don't you we like call it a book, it's called a book. yeah, yeah. The book. so you book and, and i knew that but the, the book is you went from kind of a I'm not sure whether it was B and U, but kind of a boring at times, you know, well, to really spicing it up about it, what it a couple years ago. Yeah, we redesigned in 2007, and yeah. so our art director, Maria, really went and did an awesome job working with the editorial team to really get the flow of the magazine to make sense, mm. where we have a feature well, then we have how-to columns that are broken out with two to three embroidery, two to three screen printing, there's business articles, yeah. and then digital decorating. We're very much paying attention to what's going but on. But a quick in that read. World. It's a quick read. Boom, boom, Yeah, boom. well, one of the things with space, it's taught us all as journalists to write Right, sharper and quicker, which is good for the reader because these you guys don't have time out there. So yeah. you know, it's little bits and pieces. And like I said, with our digital, you can go online and get so much more information. Our website has new content every two to three days. Uh, like I said, all of the magazines are sent digitally and they're archived on the website. So right. you go back and read back issues. Do people go there? Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, I, I, I'm probably still a traditionalist. I like to read the hard copy. It's and I haven't quite gotten the habit yet of going uh, the online. The interesting thing is what's going on, too, in our industry here, screen printing with all of the digital decorating and the direct-to-garment and that, you know, the big question mark, would it ever truly replace traditional screen printing? It's happening in publishing as well. Mm -hmm, yeah. You know, paper costs are out of this world, as are shipping costs. So a lot of publishing companies are printing less um, we haven't yet but that's one of the reasons we extended the digital reach but it is going to take a training for the reader particularly for this yeah. industry because yeah. if we're doing a you know a how-to article on how to stretch a screen it's very tough to go to your computer to your press your computer to your press and you know part of this also is sort of trying to green up our industry as publishers yeah. but to ask the reader then to print it out so they've got something